What's up y'all, it's Phil, and it's time for another update. So I'm in the client's house right now um, because I forgot to record an intro this morning and nobody's home. So, that's cool. Uh, this project is going to be pretty cool. This one is going to be a smaller entertainment center. Uh, it's going on this wall right behind me and I'm going to try to make it complement the fireplace that's already in place. Hopefully this project should go pretty quick because all I will need to do is get the cabinets and everything in place and get everything faced out. Uh, I've got to measure the TV to make sure that it's going to fit in the space. This one's going to be uh, kind of lopsided so it's going to have shelving on one side, a cabinet at the bottom, and shelving above that, uh, and everything's going to match all the way around. So. It should be pretty cool. Um, we just have to, you know, make sure I get all my measurements and everything right so that it doesn't end up looking weird in the end. Uh, but I think it's going to be a really neat and very unique entertainment center. So I'm excited to get started on this one. So I'm going to take some measurements, do some math, and figure out the design for this bad boy. And then we're going to get started cutting pieces, see how far we can get today. So day one of the project is done, and today was supposed to be day two, um, except I went on Facebook last night and I found this for a couple hundred bucks. Really couldn't pass it up, so I went out there at like 11 o'clock last night and bought this thing. Um, went back this morning with my uh, new part-time guy, and the two of us got it running. It was running last night, but it wasn't running today. Um, ended up putting some parts and pieces on it and getting it going. Got a new battery for it and it is ready to go. So I've got a new farm truck, which is awesome because I'm selling off that crappy old F-150. And this might actually be something that I could even take up the road to Home Depot, fingers crossed. That would be awesome. But in the meantime, since I've already wasted most of the day going and getting this thing, I'm gonna waste the rest of the day getting it cleaned up, enjoy my weekend, and get right back to work first thing Monday morning.
I am back at the shop and my guy is still at the client's house. He's going to finish prepping it for paint and then he's actually going to go ahead and start painting today. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to build the pairs of doors and drawers for this project. Luckily, there is only two doors and two drawers, so that won't take me very long, which is a good thing. Once I get all that finished up, I'll be able to spray the doors and hopefully they'll be dry enough that I can get everything out there by Friday. Uh, the humidity here in Tennessee has skyrocketed from like 40% to 80% almost overnight and it's been raining for the past two days. So I don't know how the paint is going to turn out. It may take longer than I am thinking, but we shall see. For now, I just have to build the doors. And just like that, y'all, I am done. This thing turned out awesome. And you might have noticed, I stopped recording halfway through. Yup. So things were going well, uh, and the part-time guy that I had working for me, I just hired him, he'd been working with me for about two weeks at that point. Um, he actually injured himself just before the 4th of July holiday and is not able to work uh, because of a previous injury that he aggravated for a couple of months. So because of that, I had to stop the job that I was currently working on to go back and finish up the stuff that he was supposed to do for me to go back to the job that I was working on so my painter could come back and finish this job and this job. In the meantime, since both of these got pushed back, I wasn't able to start the job that I was supposed to start Monday because this one was supposed to end Friday, but it didn't, so I didn't get to do the one on Monday, and then the one that's supposed to start on Wednesday I didn't get to do, so both are getting pushed up till next week. So there's a lot going on. <laughs> On top of all of that, and I know, I'm always behind, I'm always complaining about it, you don't care. I'm, I'm, it's bad, it's bad how far behind I am right now. And it's not helped by all the COVID-19 stuff coming back. But on top of all of that, I have had a week of Mondays, and it has just been horrible because my supervisor, my dog Yoshi, decided to try to die, essentially. I'm gonna tell this whole story in a separate update, but uh, he dropped his red blood cell count. He had some crazy infection. He was below critical levels. In fact, the vet was actually surprised every morning when I brought him in that he had survived through the night. Um, it was not good and is not good. I'm still in the midst of it. But today we took him to get a transfusion. Um, and so basically every single day I have spent hours of my working day going to and from the vet. I also had consultations every single day this week, most of which I haven't even written up the proposals for yet. So things are going a little crazy over here. <laughs> 
So because of that, I wasn't able to actually record most of the rest of it. In fact, I even forgot my camera today to do the beauty shots. So I got some crappy iPhone shots that I hope are decent that I'm going to show you just in a minute. Uh, but things are going a little bit nuts right now. So I apologize for that, but this will may hey, maybe it'll make the video shorter and you guys will like that. I don't know. In the meantime, let's go through the quick roll. Check me out on Facebook, check me out on Instagram, check me out on maybe Twitter if you want to, I don't know. Everything is PMK Woodworking, so find me on there. If you want to see Yoshi and learn about his story and things that are happening, check out Chillist Shiba on both Instagram and on Facebook. I believe he may be Chillist Shiba Yoshi on there. But check those out. Um, and hit me up on Instagram if you have made any of my projects or if you just want to show me something cool. Um, I'm very happy to feature people, even if it's not something I've necessarily taught you to do, but I have a lot of people asking about projects and showing me their projects, so I'm going to be posting more of those as I go here in the near future. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hate to cut it off so short, but I don't have much else to say, which probably makes you happy, so check out these beauty shots. watching y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye. And yes, I'm still trying to get rid of this thing. Just haven't gotten a haircut yet. Bye.